Hi Erin, I bet you're asking what's on the Larry Post desk today. Well today we've got the Sailor Desk Pen and I think this is quite an exciting pen because although it's a low cost pen it's got a great little nib on it for sketching and it has surprisingly good flow of the ink even when you use a pigmented ink. So let's have a look at it. It's got this uh, elongated body, just a bit longer than a standard fountain pen and that's nice when you're sketching because you can hold your pen a little bit further back. And here on the lid, you can see this hexagonal, you know, these lugs that stop the pen rolling off the desk, and that can save your pen. And let's open it up and we'll have a look at the nib itself. So it's a stainless steel nib, and it's quite a delicate little size. So if you have a look right at the tip, you can see that that's quite fine, and I would call it an extra fine. And look at that little breather hole. It's not really a hole, it's a love heart, and it just makes you want to draw. Such a cute little pen. So normally when you get the Sailor Desk Pen, it would come with these two cartridges. This is Sailor water-based ink. Uh, it's, it's very black ink. Uh, it's good for writing letters or say writing notes, but not so good for sketching because uh, the water-based inks aren't waterproof. The lines move when you um, apply watercolor over the top. So anyway, you get two of those, but I'm going to show you today how you can fill the pen up with a pigmented waterproof ink that you can use for sketching. So the little extra part that you need is called a converter. And you can see here in this clear part, this is what will hold the ink. And there's a little plunger inside there. And then up this far right end is the handle that you turn. And there's two ways that you can fill using this. So I'll show you the intended way of the manufacturer. So what we do is we take the pen apart. And we, with the converter, with the plunger fully down, in the down position, you can see that black knob is right down the far end. Then we insert the plunger, the converter into the pen, just give a little push. And what we would do is to fill it with pigmented ink we're going to use this brand here. This is Diartramentus Document Ink Black. It's a pigmented ink. It's using um, nanotechnology, so they're very, very small pigments of particle, uh, particles of pigment that are so small they can fit through the fountain pen feed. But then when the pigment hits the paper, it binds to the paper, so it's permanent and uh, archival and waterproof. So it's a great ink. Uh, so what we would do is we would uncap the bottle. It's best not to shake your bottles just before you're filling because you just introduce a lot of water. And the when you um, are filling a fountain pen, you kind of imagine that the ink is going up through that little breather hole, but that's not air is going up through there. The ink actually goes up just here between the feed and the flange there. So you have to have the pen very much, the nib, very much immer immersed in the ink for it to fill. So one way of doing it would be to put the pen, the nib into the ink like so, and you turn the handle very slowly. And you see as I'm turning the handle, you can see that plunger moving slowly upwards, and that draws the ink into the canister. But another way to do it, which I think is actually an easier way, is to use a syringe. So I'm going to show you how I do it with a syringe. What we do is we've got a um, blunt needle syringe here. So you can see it's not sharp on the end, it's just like a tube. And we're going to use that just to draw up the ink straight from the ink bottle, like so. And then from my pen, I take the converter out. And we can inject ink straight into the converter like so. And just watch what you're doing. So you can see how much you need to put in. So you come almost to the top. That's it. 